I saw, told you we got the tomato pie. I, I don't know. I'm gonna call it pizza. Tom tomato pie, I mean, pizza pie. Today we have a special lunch pickup down in Schenectady. I'm checking out a place called More Parecas down in Schenectady. It is like an offshoot of Parecas, which is like a legendary bakery down there. They make the most amazing coal-fired oven bread. The lunch menu intrigued me. There's a couple things on there. If you go to their website and you hit the view menu, there's a few things on there that really hit me by surprise as far as what they offer. So I'm checking a couple of those things out. Before we head down there, hit this video with a thumbs up, comment down below with other places you wanted to check out and subscribe. There's a new dining review every Saturday. You're not gonna wanna miss those. Hit the bell so you're notified when they go up. Let's get down, pick up lunch. If you would like to make a table reservation for dining or order takeout food, please go to www.parecas.com. Have a nice day. Hmm. They told me to pull up to the back and they would bring it out. I don't know what exactly would prompt that. So I just decided to pull up to the front and stop in. The lady was kind of working by herself. So that kind of worked out. But I also managed to stop in the bakery Picked up a loaf of bread for later, as well as some uh, tomato pie. I gotta try this tomato pie. So I told you, we were able to hop in the store, pick up a couple other things. Had to go with a loaf of their bread. I'll show you what we're gonna use that for in just a second here. I, I told you we got the tomato pie. I think we're just gonna save this till the end because I, I don't know. I like that they actually are branded with their bags. I think that that's important, especially when you've moved your entire operation to takeout only, so I think that's that's really good. So let's see here. Here we got, looks like a side salad. I think that's what comes with my sandwich. Ah, here I got, this is called wild mushroom marsala. We'll see how wild it is. I got a sausage, lettuce, and tomato. Just yesterday I had a tooth taken out, so I wanted some soft, softer food. So I figured this might be at least these uh, Marsala mushrooms, which I'm looking forward to trying, but let's first try the salad. It looks like a nice spring mix. It's tossed in a, a healthy amount of, healthy as in uh, generous amount of dressing, which is good. You don't want no scant salad when you're eating out. Very nice Italian vinaigrette. Lots of good herbs in there. That's enough of that. This sausage, tomato, and sausage, lettuce, tomato. It, it actually looked really interesting because let me read you the description. Italian sausage, lettuce, tomato, roasted garlic puree, mayo, parecas toasted bread, and the side salad. So their bread, like I said, is legendary. It's coal fired. Maybe a little too hard for me, but it, the things we sacrifice for the culture here. Let's uh, give it a good bite. That's a good sausage they use. What I love about Pareka's bread, I've been buying their bread for years. In fact, I, I've actually never bought bread in their bakery. I always buy it at the supermarket. But what I like about their bread is it's very soft in the middle. Even with the, the toast, it's nice, It's a thick enough piece that it's actually soft. So, so it's not bothering the area where I am suffering right now. But it's garlic's bread is actually very subdued. It's very easy to make like a garlic puree that's overpowering. This isn't at all. This is very good. Fun little play on a BLT. All right, so here we got the wild mushroom marsala. Flipping through it, I think I'm seeing some shiitake, some button mushrooms, and that's basically it. So wild, I don't know. Very flavorful. What we need though is you need your, your crusty bread and you always gotta rip it when you're eating rustic like this. Grab your bread. We're gonna make the perfect bite here. So I don't know, it looks like there's some other, and maybe enoki mushrooms. So there's a good, there's a good mix of mushrooms in here. Really good. You know what? Bread's a little hard for me. Let's, uh, let's soak up some of this marsala sauce. That's right. That's good. This is kind of a fun thing that they actually offer on the side. 
So I mentioned the snafu on the pickup. It left me with an opportunity to actually pull up right in front of the building. I was able to run into the bakery, pick up that bread, and finally try for the first time tomato pie. If you stuck around to see me try this, give me a thumbs up down below and leave a comment. I wanna know who the true fans are here. Time to try this tomato pie. It looks like it's probably cooked in a pan, probably in their coal oven. It's got a nice amount of sauce and some, what looks like Romano cheese. I'm gonna guess Romano. I, I would doubt it'd be Parmesan. You could see there's some kind of burnt edges around it. Burnt, I say burnt, I mean um, dark. Darkness is flavor when it comes to pizza. Now, we're, I'm from uh, Brooklyn, Bensonhurst. In that area, we have Sicilian pizza. You might know l and Mahoney Garden. This kind of is reminiscent of that, but I think historically, tomato pie is an upstate New York thing that's actually eaten room temperature. So this is, has not been warmed up and let's try it. Now this is pretty incredible. This pizza, I'm gonna call it pizza, tomato, tomato pie, I mean, pizza pie. It reminds me of something my grandparents used to make for me when I was a little kid. My grandparents are from Naples and they uh, did not like adding mozzarella to the sauce, mozzarella to the, to the pizza. They would make these pizzas that were very heavy on the sauce. The crust is very good. This kind of tastes almost identical to that pizza. I haven't tasted, tasted something like this in 25 years. Now me personally, I would want this warmed up a little bit, but the sauce actually like, it's almost not even sauce anymore. It's like a thick paste. It's almost like caramelized on top of there. You got a little bit, of, a little bit of herbs in there, but you really taste the cheese and really taste the dough. A lot of olive oil coming through. I feel like if you warm this up, you might lose a lot of that kind of character. You might kind of overcook the, the sauce on top. So I'm on the fence about whether or not I'm going to eat this, you know, as it is or warm it up. Very good. I like that a lot. The other thing on the menu, I was about to try that today, but I figured it might not be a great idea. Just I wanted to try the sausage sandwich really is what it was. But they make paninis on this tomato pie with like chicken parm, eggplant parm, sausage and peppers. That might be something to try next time. If you want to see more of me going to some of the Italian institutions in the area, check out my review of Pizza Gram right here. And I'll put an entire playlist of all the Dairy X Dines videos right here. You can check those two out. <laughs>